What tropical storm Hannah will do next remains unknown. On Tuesday, the storm basically stayed put, drifting towards northern Haiti, where it has already killed more than 20 people. On Wednesday, the storm with 60-mile-an-hour winds is expected to spin north and head toward the Bahamas. We've taken our sign down. We'll probably put some shutters up later on this afternoon or early tomorrow morning, just depending on, on how Hannah looks. Emergency officials from North Carolina to Florida are also keeping a close eye on the storm. Florida's governor has already declared a state of emergency. This order will ensure timely precautions are taken to protect communities and the general welfare of our state, as well as to initiate measures to provide assistance to other states in need. Yesterday, Hannah became the third tropical system to threaten our state in the last three weeks alone. Evacuations could soon follow. Hannah could slam into the U.S. coastline as a Category 2 hurricane. You need to heed evacuation orders. You need to do like the folks that were in our shelters did. When the evacuation order comes, evacuate. Uh, just because the uh, TV meteorologists are out there and the journalists are out there, don't mistake that into being that it's not dangerous. Uh, we cannot emphasize strongly enough uh, that we need people to, as Governor Chris has told us before, be smart, be safe, be a survivor. And while the focus is now on Hannah, Tropical Storm Ike has already formed out in the Atlantic, keeping everyone on guard. But we're definitely going to put them up because we figure Ike is coming through pretty soon afterwards. Right now, Ike has winds of 60 miles an hour and is forecast to be near the Bahamas on Sunday as a hurricane. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.